Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars XVT. We're definitely not going to do that. There we go. And uh, everybody's here. I'm not going to introduce you. Well, go fuck yourself then, Lance. <laughs> See, what I'm wondering is, where's the enthusiasm? The drive! Alright, we received word from Clan Leader Tamaron that the rival Clan Leader will be meeting with the Empire for negotiations. Therefore, we will conduct an operation to capture this renegade before the meeting can take place. Hopefully, um, she can provide us with more I, information on the location of the Imperial fleet. I think with our current political climate, we should avoid the word clan. Why? What? I was making a joke. Never mind. Continue. Well, I, the yeah, joke was kind of lost on me for that one. Way over my head. He's too clue. Also, I like how you said negotiations as if it had quotes around it. <laughs> negotiations. <laughs> so we're split the road in green like usual. On to the briefing map. The rival Ooh, clan right. leader has been working closely with the Empire is headed for the Star Destroyer Rage for negotiations. Hey, we know oh, that Star oh. Destroyer. It is our Didn't intention to up? capture the leader of this renegade faction. Hopefully they can reveal the location Might of the have. Imperial fleet. <sighs> you must locate the rival clan leader, then disable their craft so it can be boarded. I expect heavy resistance from the rival clan. Didn't we do the opposite of this last time? A few missions ago. Rogue Squadron will engage all enemy starfighters while B-Wings from Green Squadron disable the rival clan leader's dreadnought. Yep. Alright. Once Green Squadron okay. has disabled the dreadnought, the Corellian Corvette Storm will hyper in and capture it. Hooray. I'm on page two again. The Imperials will most certainly launch starfighters to prevent the capture of the rival clan leader's craft. Stay sharp. Pretty on. Alright, so... It. Blow up everything. Nikos and Ren, your interception, and me and Fitz are going to try to disable the dreadnought. Disable or destroy? Disable. We're disable capturing. first, and then we'll destroy it. This is a capture mission. Ooh. So destroy everything. All right, Skype. You can, you can like go away now. Uh, I don't need you on the screen. So, who wants to call for uh, loading issues this time? Stop it! Stop cursing this. Well, I mean, is still it loading. Was right in front of us. I can't see anything except my little s Skype window. It says here, so... Nikos is still loading. Plus, plus, plus. I am still loading. It's not even my fault. I no, did everything it's... right. It is incredibly crashed right now. This is, I think, the first time I've seen a screen like this. No, this is a new issue, so... Hopefully it's just taking a while to load for Nikos. Put that controller down and take a stretch. Think I have time to make a sandwich? Oh, probably. <laughs> you know this game. Alright, well, I'm gonna go take a nap, so... <laughs> Everybody kick back, relax, let well, life eventually roll off it'll, your backs. It'll have to and default and cut. And Fry does. can uh, just call us all when it's ready. <laughs> Damn it. Why? <laughs> well, yeah, you, your voice has been going in and out the whole time. I blame so. Fry. This oh, is yeah. also true. Not the blaming Fry thing, although probably that as well. I presume. Nope. Nope, it's all Fry's fault. I've now set it to use 3D hardware and oh. billionaire filtering. Billionaire filtering? What? What is that? I I like to mispronounce that one. <laughs> yeah, I heard billionaire. That that's in, what I said. Like a person with a, over a billion yes. dollars. Okay. Yes. It, it, it's very intentional. Right. So, uh, yeah. There we go, finally. Yeah, I'm still black screen with the Skype box. Wait, I'm I'm in, like, the menu. The debriefing, yeah, my, actually. I'm on the debriefing screen still, yeah. Okay, so it was yep. Fitz's fault. Okay. He's the only uh, yeah, it totally wrong. crashed. Oh, there it goes. Oh, hey, I'm loading. <laughs> Nope, it crashed. There we go. Let's try this again. This time with more chicks. And again. 
And again. Hey, yeah. Fitz has two circles. Well, shit. Oh, one circle. That makes it sense. No circles. No sense. You got rid of your it's, because, um, it's because those two live together. This Nobody game hates ha homosexuality. <laughs> Just right. from a network That's standpoint, sense. though, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> Wait, was I a B-Wing? No, the no. game doesn't split between local and uh, remote hosting. Nope. Yeah, oh, I'm a B-Wing. got past Nikos this time. Black screen. This isn't the right Wait. mission. Wow. That's... That is a Super Star Destroyer and a load of other Star Destroyers. It still says waiting for other players. This is players. not the right mission. What? <laughs> The briefing space didn't... is black for me. <laughs> Why are you space viewing? is also black for me. What? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, well, I can see things. No. Well, attack the yeah. vengeance, then I guess. What the hell happened? This is a different mission. Personally, I blame you. Scripts near Daga. Yeah, that's mission fourteen. Huh. What mission are we on? We're on 13. 13. 13, yeah. I guess we beat the last one. Oh, awesome. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, everybody. <laughs> Bye-bye. We, we apparently skipped that mission. <laughs> yeah, apparently the challenge was to sit in a black screen for a minute and a half. <laughs> Don't worry, we recorded it. We did it successfully. Yeah, so no, I almost didn't make it, man. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I have a question here, then. Is uh, sad music going to play during that scene as well? Probably. <laughs> <laughs>
It's not stupid. You're just playing a fuck ass old game. Now here's the question: Should I be a B wing or an X wing? B wing. Okay. I'll use my old position that would have been if it was the four of us. So how's it going? Not too shabby. Um, just been researching up on Kuehl theory. Are you what? familiar with Kuehl theory? Kuehl? Kuehl, like, yeah. C-U-I-L. Is that how you pronounce that? No, I'm not yeah. familiar with it. Uh, have you ever heard the phrase, I give you a hamburger? No. All right. Okay, so a Kuehl is a measure of abstraction from the reality of a situation. So at zero Kuehl, you ask me for a hamburger and I give you a hamburger. At one cure, you asked me for a hamburger, and I gave you a raccoon. At two cure, if you ask me for a hamburger, it turns out I don't really exist. Where I was originally standing, a picture of a hamburger rests on the ground. At three cure, you awake as a hamburger. You start screaming only to have special sauce fly from your lips. The world is in sepia. I'm... What? At 4 Kuehl, why are we speaking German? A mime cries softly as he cradles a young cow. Your grandfather stares at you as the cow falls apart into patties. You look down only to see me with pickles for eyes. I am singing the song that gives birth to the universe. That's pretty wacky. Yo. At 5 Kuehl, you ask for a hamburger, and I give you a hamburger. You raise it to your lips and take a bite. Your eye twitches involuntarily. Across the street, a father of three falls down the stairs. You swallow and look down at the hamburger in your hands. I give you a hamburger. You swallow and look down at the hamburger in your hands. You cannot swallow. There are children at the top of the stairs. A pickle shifts uneasily under the bun. I give you a hamburger. You look at my face and I am pleading with you. The children are crying now. You raise the hamburger to your lips, tears streaming down your face as you take a bite. I give you a hamburger. You are on your knees. You plead with me to go across the street. I hear only children's laughter. I give you a hamburger. You are screaming as you fall down the stairs. I am your child. You cannot see anything. You take a bite of the hamburger. The concrete rushes up to meet you. You awake with a start in your own bed. Your eye twitches involuntarily. I give you a hamburger. As you kill me, I do not make a sound. I give you a hamburger. How's the mission going? Um, I almost have the shields of the caliber down. That's awesome. Want to hear six? Six fuel. I apparently just failed the mission, so let's do this again. Haha! <laughs> are we studying over from scratch, or are we going to keep all this? I don't know, we're keeping Awesome. I apparently am supposed to prevent the shuttle from docking. Well, good luck with that. I didn't notice that. <sighs> At 6 Kuehl, you ask me for a hamburger. My attempt to reciprocate is cut brutally short as my body experiences a sudden lack of electrons. Across a variety of hidden dimensions, you are dismayed. So John Lennon hands me an apple, but it slips through my fingers. I am reborn as an ocelot. You disapprove. So what is cool theory exactly? Kuehl theory is... Uh, it's so hard. It's so hard? It's so hard to explain. It's it's literally at the level of abstraction away from the reality of a situation. When you Google something and you get a response that was completely unexpected and barely fits the theory, barely fits your request... That is an example of a cool. Okay. So if you were to Google, I don't know, Toyota Scion, and it shows you a picture of some prince's son, you're like, that is, that's tangently related, I guess. Would be all, would be not quite a cure to look. Um, whereas if I were to just, if I were to post porn online, and the porn led you to my latest freeware MMORPG, that would be a cool 
away from the reality of the situation. I've posted porn, you click for porn, you get a shitty three-way game. What I'm doing is I'm giving examples that are way better and are based on the actual Kuehl theory documentation. Okay. I'm reading off of the script. Uh, there's another person with a much better voice than mine who does this entire read-through that you should listen to a little bit later. And now that I've read off and described Kuehl theory so much, hopefully anybody who watches this will also look into it because it's really fun to hear. Also, if you ever make mushroom tea, this is a really, really good thing to put on while you are stoned out of your mind. I just sacrificed my life. I do it all the time. The reverse of Kuehl theory, of course, is when you move into negative Kuehl, you head towards an absolute realism of the scenario. Um, as Kuehl approaches zero, um, the asked given ratio is so near one to one that the observer must begin to doubt the reality of the situation, suspecting that the artifact requested is of manufactured memories. Huh. So if you were to ask me for a hamburger, and I give you not just a hamburger, but the exact hamburger, the definition of your brain, the image of it that it is sculpted and held of what a hamburger should be that would be approaching zero kill alright since I'm not playing with you guys I can totally cheat oh yeah cheat like crazy I can destroy the shield generators on the rage. You are pretty much exhausted of fuel theory by now, I bet. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna play some Magic Heart. I, I love Magic Heart May. This is the best moment. May? They've named after the Pokemon creature? No, they're named after the month. It's Magic Heart May. They, like, Pokemon released a song about him and released a game for him. Okay. I'm unfamiliar with it. Uh, it's a, well, it's a freeware game. Uh, sorry, freemium, because you can spend real world money. Is that uh, what they call it nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. And this would be easier with people with me. Always is. Unfortunately, as we witnessed, it's impossible. Oh, I'm gonna die. Nobody will miss you. Oh wait, you mean in game. So, uh, where are the others? Why am I the only one who showed up for your recording session? Well, I am I tried to get it going with the uh, Grand Miyaki, but uh, it wasn't working and I uh, just kind of gave up. So I tried to try with you then. And, well, at least I'm handsome. This is the alternative. Okay, and, I'm uh, your backup. I see how it is. The easy choice was Fitz, who could just come over here and like sit next to me. That was too much for him. Well, in fairness, it is Saturday. We have a lot better things to be doing. I don't know. Well, I literally know. I could be doing something way more interesting than this. I have chosen to make time for you, and implied the need for a bribe to continue it.
Implied means I'm not sure I actually expect to be bribed. Did you guys know that we've been doing this shit for free? Fry doesn't even monetize the fucking videos. But nobody watches them anymore. They've completed their point operation. You have to get like 40 bit, like, views in order to get anything. Just I realize, cents. It's just salty. Been here for years. I've been here since the start. I am the Fry Box. We've both been here for about the same amount of time. <laughs> I would hope so, it's named after you. Oh god, they're gonna disable my friggin' event. No No And we should be distracted. Ah, oh, I died. Damn it. It's gonna be a hard one. I'm really gonna need you to focus up. I'm gonna switch to an X Wing. And I'm gonna put it on easy or something. Okay. I'll judge you silently. Come on, Dolores. I really want you to level up again. What is that? Let me come in with another film. Black as a box of chocolates, and my name is Forrest Gump. <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I gave Jenny all my love. I win. Dolores has defeated Carpella in the Heavy League battle number five. I feel like my turn is even worse now. Well, you've got to keep doing your best. That's all anybody can ask of you. I still find it hilarious that that mission's bugged and we can't play it as multiplayer. I didn't know that going into it. If I'd known of that at the start, I never would have started this series. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I am on generation eight with this magic card. And Paskey is working on generation like twenty seven right now. I don't even know what that means. He's... Oh, every time you get a new magic card, it becomes the new generation. Um, because, you know, the first one, the next magic card you get. Because each time it'll, like, retire into your pond or be murdered by something brutal. Um, most of mine have retired to the pond. Uh, I've purposely let a couple of them die. Eh. It's been a day. Day, all right. So I've been playing Prey. Okay, tell us about Prey. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a lot of logs if you like to read. Report on the primary target. They've been boarded. Oh, wow, okay. I'm glad that you've given us such a nice in-depth description of the game. <laughs> okay, so there's words. It's it, there's, it's wordy. It is wordy. Uh, it's basically Bioshock. Space. Isn't the speed run for that game like already like 30 minutes? Probably. It's not very long if you don't do any of the options. There's a lot of optional branches in the station that you can just go and explore stuff. Okay. There's a... The equivalent of plasmids in the game. Which uh, you inject into your eyeball. Yuck. And uh, there's two kinds. There's the ones that are for hu that have human genetic material or whatever, and the alien ones. And uh, you can opt. If you take any of the alien ones, turrets will recognize you as part alien and start shooting you. Oh. So I've been avoiding the alien ones. Probably a good idea. 
But those are the ones that give you spells like kinetic blasts and stuff. There's probably multiple endings. I'm thinking that too. You're gonna reach the end of it no matter what. There's just gonna be one. It's just to be like, no, John, you are the aliens. All of us are infected. My name is Morgan. I'm sorry, Morgan. He is gonna be either gender, so they decided to be Morgan. That is a good choice. I'm just gonna unplug my controller for a second. Hiya! There we go. That should be better. Oh, that's and way better. What, what did that? What did that accomplish? Speed up my turning radi radius. Oh. Cool. Since my controller is kind of crappy old. Ah. Uh, uh, it, it calibrates weirdly. Well, um, I have a Pikachu and a Piplup that have just sort of been hanging out with my match cut, and they give me little training bonuses. For the most part, if he just swims around his pond, but you can tap around his team to make him eat food. So you can make him train in a few mini games that are just tappers. I haven't figured out if the rate of tap actually affects it at all. And then there's leagues that you can go through of uh, seeing which Magikarp can jump better. And that's Magikarp Splash. You keep doing that until you've cleared all the leagues. I didn't know it existed until today. That's because you don't have a smartphone. Well, I would have maybe seen it in the news or something. Video games like this don't generally make the news. Although I'm surprised you didn't see the uh, Magikarp song. You follow the Pokemon YouTube channel or the Pokemon Twitter? No. Why not? Because I'm, I'm a busy man with many things to do. Okay, now you're lying to people. I may be embellishing, but I'm not lying. Isn't the most busy you are when you're at work? Otherwise, you're at home on your computer? I mean, you've been single for basically your entire life. Uh, isn't the most, like, socially, like, social outing you have when you have people come over or join you on Skype for D&D? I was say, these are your most social things. Oh my god. A Pidgeotto just flew by and tried to eat me. Try to eat you? Or eat yeah. your Pidgeot? Or your magic card? Yeah, because I have him up at the surface level and he's just sort of splashing around. So there's danger in him. Oh, a little bit, but only if you're, like, trying to get your fucking magic card murdered. And Dolores is just taking a long time to level up. Doing pretty good this time. Oh, that's good. We'll be done soon. I didn't mean it like that. That came out wrong. You'll be done soon. I'm not doing anything. You're just playing magic card. Yes, I am. Like most of these premium games, you can just sort of sit and play for like five to ten minutes, and then, oh, now you have to wait a while while everything restocks. This one, the restock time is like super, super short. And, like, every time you get an event, it basically restores one of your actions. And the events come, I guess, every three things you do gives you an event. What is the storm? The Corvette storm is supposed to show up. It hasn't. Well, that's a bad sign. It is. Oh, I think I'm supposed to inspect it. Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. I guess I have to go inspect the dreadnought first, and then it'll come. Maybe I shouldn't inspect it. Let's just, like, take out all the fighters first. Ow. Inspection! Disgrace! 
Oh, hey, the Humble Monthly has Stellaris for 12 bucks. Isn't that Lion King 2 or something? Yes, it is. It's been a long, long time since I've seen that. Uh, if it is a Disney song, it is probably embedded in my head. The amount of times Fitz and Mike both played that so many times? Um, yes. Mike was the worst defender. And then when he was gone, Fitz started doing it. Well, yeah, but I liked when Fitz did it. Mike was doing it to annoy me. Fitz was doing it out of joy in his heart. Fitz is a happy, simple man. With low standards. That's why he works at a factory. I'm not going to bad enough to factory work. He gets the money. He probably makes more bank than you do. Yeah. Most people do. How many more fighters are there? Uh, seven. That's a lot. Yep. A man was arrested Thursday for sneaking into Phoenix Comic Con with a collection of guns and other weapons, saying he wanted to hurt law enforcement. More details have since emerged that paint a disturbing picture of the incident, including a vendetta against one of the Power Rangers. Oh my god, he was going after Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. Why? Uh, I... I... 31-year-old Matthew Sterling told police he was targeting bad police officers because he was the real-life version of the Punisher, Marvel's uncompromising vigilante. Sterling told police he was aware that real weapons were banned from the convention, but said the rule didn't apply to him because, as he previously claimed, he was the Punisher. Uh offered numerous fantastical stories to detectives, including saying he wanted to kill Aphrodite officers, his term for bad cops, if they tried to hurt or stop him. That's interesting, but not connected when you consider that the Punisher has been used as an inspirational figure and logo for Blue Lives Matter, a pro-police movement. Uh, he had a vendetta against a celebrity... Oh, he had a vendetta against Jason David Frank. Uh, police found a message on Sterling's calendar the day of the attack that just said kill JDF. Uh, Frank appeared at a press conference later to thank the police for their hard work and requested that attendees do not bring prop knives for him to sign. Uh-huh. Doesn't really say what he was doing other than just he wanted to kill the shit out of Jason David Frank. Well, that's fascinating. Message from Mission Critical Craft. They've started their boarding operation. Report on primary target. They've been boarded. All right, Corvette Storm, you can do it. I believe in you. Yep. Fingers crossed. I'm really interested in Starfinder, the new game that's coming out from Paizo, creators of Pathfinder. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the races look interesting. Uh, they're all vaguely humanoid, unfortunately. But, um... They have a bug-looking one, uh, which I feel like ran my act feel probably like a lot. Let me pull up that image and uh, scroll through. They obviously have humans, because, you know, what's the video game about humans these days? What's anything with the humans, really? Well, more interesting, generally. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what do you want to be? You want to be a human, or you want to be an orc? Human. I don't like orcs. Why don't you like orcs? They're fascinating. They just don't like orcs? Uh, they have space lizard people, which are kind of like what looks like the orcs of the world. I've never been a fan of the brutish races in anything. 
They have androids. Uh, they have these metallic skin motherfuckers. How is androids even a race? Well, Should once be... they're like able to build themselves and you know create more of themselves like that, that that's a good way to do it. I suppose. Uh, or like the Geth. Yeah, the Geth. Do the Geth count as replicators? No. Because replicators transformed, uh, like other materials into metal, so they could. Okay. So, from left to right, looking at the Starfinder, like, static image, we have, um, a humanoid woman with antenna on her head. So I'm gonna guess she's like the elfish type. We have a metal-skinned android person. We have a thuggish uh, lizardy person. We have a tiny rat with a breather on him that makes me think so much of the grunts from Halo. Oh, Which yeah. every time I see the, see the image of him, he looks like a grunt. Um, human woman. Uh, some kind of like very very buggish alien that has a blue glowy symbol emitting from the helmet on his head and then what kind of looks like a githyanki or githzeri with four arms and that's my take on starfire that's it. uh the races look interesting i think that's a good way to say it um and yeah, it's going to be a and d esque game from the series that I liked, 3.5-esque, uh, in space. So, yeah, I'm in on that shit. And it, it appears to have launched? I'm not sure. Apparently the apocalypse is happening in space. So. Oh, cool. Uh, I think it's just on your end of the world. Probably. I find a cool review of the Glee published. Oh, August 2017. It's in pre-order right now. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And people have already reserved the Starfinder wiki webpage. Well done. Hey, hey, in easy mode, I can destroy the shield generators. Hooray! I knocked out the radius shields. Now it's gonna die a horrible death. And that's how you beat that mission. You go to easy and hope it works out. And you won? Yeah. Fantastic. Then I guess we're done here. Well, the, uh, the, they didn't give me the debriefing because it wasn't in the actual story. Oh. Oh, well. Have a good one. Uh, thanks for coming down, everyone. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.